kutazama ile video ningependa kumkaribisha lakini itakuwa vyema zaidi wapo mmoja wao atueleze mengi zaidi amkaribishe Moesha maana yake ndiye anayemfahamu zaidi Sofia mkaribishe Moesha Mama yetu Moesha tunge ninge ambo ni mueleze kumhusu ningeweza kuandika kitabu lakini kwa machache ningesema she is a very kind woman a very selfless woman yani kama hiyo wimbo inavyosema ni mchapakazi sana every day she is running up and down to ensure that her kids wamepata chochote wanachohitaji yani ni ule wa kutoa tu hadi anajisahau mwenyewe ana anapenda kuweka watoto wake mbele anachunga watoto wake kama mayai kitu yote isifanyike watoto wake watu wako na watoto wengi sisi si, si tu hadi wazee anaenda kuangalia na make sure wako na chakula amwangalia vizuri kama kuna wanahitaji kupele kwa hospitalini ana make sure wako hapo na wao wanasimama na wao kila kila mara kila dakika kwa hapo na wao so yeye si kila siku unaweza amka uende upate msichana mdogo kama mama yetu anafanya amba, uh, chenye yeye anafanya hmm. so mi, sisi wote tukambo tu describe mama yetu tutasema yeye she is a very kind woman sisi tunampenda juu ye ni, anakupatianga bila kujifikiria ye mwenyewe hmm. sasa ni unapata amekupatia yeye amejisahawa yani anajibakishi chochote hmm. yani anatupenda ile enye hadi akikuangalia tu unaona hii ni mapenzi ya ukweli si mama yetu wa kutuzaa lakini una akikuangalia unaona huyu ni kama mama yangu ule amenizaa ile ndio maana tumpata ile heshima yenye heshima hatuwezi pima ile upendo yenye tunaweza mpatia mama yetu moesha ajili yeye pali ametutoa kwa vile tumejoana na yeye sisi hatuwezi linganisha na chochote mtu mwingine anaweza tufanyie huko nje juu yeye ametujua kwa undani tunapokosea na tukosoa ile kama mtoto wake mm. anatueleza afanya hivi hivi ndio vizuri mm. ukimu uki, dakika yoyote tu ukimpigia wakati wote uko na shida yoyote kila mara kwa hapo atapokea simu yako mwambie mam niko hivi na hivi natika hii yeye at, atafanya juu chini amek sure amekuletea amekufanyia juu yeye ni mama yetu na anatupenda mm. na sisi pia tunampenda juu mm. yeye ni Yeni tusafinde tulashindwa kuelezea venye anakuanga juu amefanya mambo mengi kwa maisha yetu hadi tukikaa chini tu tuangalie nyuma tunaona tu kama si kama tungekuwa na yeye tungekuwa pabaya sana lakini na mumemtaja sana kwa hivyo si tumkaribishe mamwesha tumpigie makofi sasa mtazamaji kama ulivyoweza kusikia ameweza kumdescribe vizuri kabisa mamoesha anasema sio mama wa kuwazaa uh, lakini ni msichana mdogo ama kwa hakika unavyomtazama mtazamaji ni msichana mdogo lakini kile anachokifanya ni kikubwa zaidi ambapo mimi na wewe sidhani kama tunaweza kukifanya uh, karibu sana mwesha shukran sana na mjitambulishe tu kwa mtazamaji ambaye hakufahamu wewe unaitwa nani uh, uh, venye watu wanajua my, those are my real names naitwa mwesha kibibi tajiri mm. i am mother of so many kids these are few of my kids and um, i'm a professional dancer in the mm. award winning dance crew called FBI dance crew so i've been representing kenya a lot mm. make my country proud outside and inside changing lives every day i have niko na beautiful souls when you want to mom making mm. sure koshule they have food they have clothes like the way a mother has to do to make sure like what to wake wako sawa mm. and these beautiful and handsome angels here mm. and uh, the others who are watching at home uh, yeah so moesha never describe the whole day mm. so that's the brief about moesha moesha mm-hmm. watu wengi wanakutazama maana yake tunakufuatilia sana uh, katika tiktok no. unafanya kazi nzuri sana nikupe kongole kwa hilo sure. lakini watu wengi wanajiuliza kwa nini moesha anafanya hivyo So hii yote uh, ilitokea kwa story yangu mm-hmm. my personal story kitu nafanya watoto ni kitu misi kufanywa so i know the pain that mtoto ukiwa na mtu huwezi uh, tegemea au ama utamwendea au utamwitisha kitu au wakum, you know a shoulder to lean on mm-hmm. so all this mimi nimezaliwa hapo majengo mm-hmm. and that after my parents passed away i have to realize like in life it's me myself and i ningangane ndo unajua yeah and even i have my brothers and sisters but unajua sasa hiyo mko kwenye ile like hakuna mtu mwingine anaweza washughuli kwa sababu kila mtu ana shida zake so lazima nikangangana and uh, mimi nimejisomesha na dance 
baka nimemaliza nimezaliwa hapo majengo nimeona challenges zote like nime go through a lot so ni kama mimi nimefika hapa pia mtoto mwingine anaweza fika mm. so what i'm doing to these kids imetoka kwenye la, my life story so mm. i know the pain ya hauna mtu wa kuendea mm. so i said lazima nita jaribu ku change life of so many kids old people the special kids so ndo wasisikie hiyo uchungu nimepitia cause kama mimi singekuwa strong wengine who commit suicide at a young age cause mm. hakuna mtu wa kukupatia chakula au kukusomesha so i had to be strong for all these kids and now this is deeper than what people see mm. yeah Naam. Mwisho kwa mtu anayekutazama unasema kwamba umepitia mambo mengi kabla tuanze kuzungumza na watoto. Naam. Labda kifupi tu tugusie umepitia mambo ya aina gani kiasi cha kwamba mm. umekusanya watoto wengi sasa unawaangalia unakuwa unaitwa mama. Naam. So kama for example uki, unajua ukitoka katika maisha ya ghetto people believe like msichana ukifika at a certain age si palipenge wana believe lazima uende kusoma na believe lazima uolewe and all that so nikasema me i can be a change of so many people who I believe like pms chana kifika hii mwaka fulani anaweza endelea masomo it's very it's, it's almost important to to the girl child so nimepitia hiyo changamoto ya i was almost raped i remember hmm. so i hmm Well. <laughs> <laughs> strong, <I'm> strong. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, changamoto ya kujaribu kupata mtu atakaye kusomesha yeah so lazima ikabidi ni work hard on my dance talent so being the only female in FBI dance crew you could travel a lot winning mm. sakata and all that your person we can say dear kujisomesha na nikaweza kusomesha pia watu wengine so it's a lot of challenges where you don't have food you have to make sure we tafute you see which see kila mtoto at hiyo miaka anaweza mm. wengine will give up unaamini kukuwa chokora and all that so tumepitia those are the few challenges so it's a lot but pale nimefika naweza sema ni Mungu tu mm. Mm. aha ulianza vipi sasa ukasema kwamba sasa nitaanza kukusanya watoto hawa umesema beautiful angels <laughs> handsome boys yeah. ulianza kukusanya wakati gani so after fba tume win sakata being a big a uh, professional and uh, award winning dance crew and being the nikakuwa msichana pekee so nikakuwa napata messages mingi like eh mwisho umefanyaje hiyo yote hebu kuja kwenye county ghetto tuongeleshe ndo tu inspire cuz wewe uko strong sana uko wakati wale wanaume mm. na unakimbizana na nguvu yao kwenye stage hebu kuja utuongeleshe kwa sababu wengine tunataka kuwa dancers even not dancers kuimba like hiyo courage yako kuja mm. Mm. so nikaanza kitu najita coming to your hood So nikasema acha niende kwa hood zote ni waongeleshe nilikuwa nanunua chakula pesa napata kwenye kwenye dance na unajinyima kabisa kabisa nasema acha niende nikaongeleshe na wafundishe dance and then nika sasa sasa hii ndio watu wanauliza watu wote nilipataje mm. county hiyo time nikifanya coming to your hood nilikuwa na have one on one na watoto like i understand their challenges not only kids even youth old people watu wazee hata kuniliko wakubwa wangu so at that time nikasema ah kukumbe watu wanapitia challenges kama mimi zenye napitia wacha nifanye hivi ni use popularity yangu ku try to get support kwa wakubwa wetu mm. kumbe nilikuwa najanganya mm. so nika nikaanza ku have one on one nikaanza kuweka kwa database so right now i have 2500 kids kids all people age it's 2 years old to 98 years old oh, no, kutegemea wewe yeah. So nikasema acha niende nitengeze proposal kwa sababu watu wanajua Mwesha nimekuwa represent Kenya nisha dance na president na nani wote so wananjua nikajaribu kutuma proposal siku wana post kabisa mimi mm. kabisa mm-hmm. so nilipokuwa natuma proposal kadha ni tap naambiwa nitapigiwa nitapigiwa but the more naambiwa napigiwa i was losing kids because i have kids who are under medication who are hiv positive niko na watoto wenye ni special lazima wakule all that cuz nisha jichukulia saa wa mean mama ni wangu ni wangu kabisa wananiita mama mm. so at that time niko mtu akaniambia mwesha kitu unafanya ni kubwa sana fanya hivi post uwezi jua nani ataona mm. kwa sababu mambo utapigiwa hujaipigiwa mpaka leo so ndo nika post and that time ndo watu wakajua akumbu msichana dance kitu kumbe ana change lives every day mm. ndo watu wakaanza kuniona social media and right now ndo hawa watoto wengine wamekoa wengine wamaza form 4 wengine ni wakubwa huko niliko ndo hawa wanakuwa warembo nasomesha wewe mwenyewe naam hangangana hao wote hapo unaona mm ya mungangana sana kwa sababu tudhani nina pesa mm. but musema ni musema i'm rich in positivity and uh, like your confidence na jamii na prayers kabisa mm. mm-hmm. so right now do sit kwa hapa 
Na maisha ni kesi gani ambazo unapata mpaka unaambiwa mtoto huyu ishi na mtoto huyu? So kesi za ina gani? Like kama sasa sijaweza kuchukua niliacha kwa sababu najua siezi ongeza kwa sababu sina fans kabisa. So ikafika point ikasema kwanza acha ningangane na hawa. Cases nilikuwa nachukua unapata for example number one, nilikuwa na different cases hapa wengi kwa na different. Upata they have parent but parent ni vulnerable kabisa hawajiwezi kabisa ile unaona hapa ni serious. Wengine ni orphans. Mtu anakuambia mchukue mtoto wangu ni lele. Uh, is squeeze si nini kwa sababu unajua kuna procedure au uwezi chukua. Unasema hiyo kitambo. Hiyo mm. kitambo ilikuwa mm. unachukua mzazi ule unaona huyu hajiwezi kabisa. Then number two ni orphans, number three ilikuwa ni rescue na no, wengine ni special. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I have those cases. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Na wengi wanauliza unajikimu vipi kuwalisha? <laughs> na kuna wengine pia niko naona wanauliza je unaishi na wao nyumba moja? <laughs> yeah. Unajua sina safe house kabisa. So what I do katika different counties ni every end of the month nalipa almost 15 houses. Ya, yeah, so unapata nize za elfu mbili, elfu mbili miatano, hizi tu za geto kwa sababu siyezi ya fodi. Mm. Kwa sababu wale ni rescue uko kwa different county kifanya coming to your hood niliweka uko. So wanakana wasichana wangu wakubwa, wenye ni kitu machakula. So time ili kwenye saidi at least, time kunajua kwa tu, before COVID, tukitravel sana. Mm. Misa yangu ya, ya dance, 90% ni watu wangu. Mm. kabisa so nakuja hivi mwisho wa mwezi nanunua chakula na zipanga naenda bus station na zitume to different counties so naomba tu yani zi saa zingine unapata aitoshi most of the time aitoshi mm. well, kwa sababu ni wengi hao wote wanafaa kukula wanafaa kuvaa aya shule ndo hiyo pocket money ungangane na school fees and all that so musema tuna move now move tu kwa sababu nishajaribu kila njia ku reach out so ikafika point ikasema watu wawasaidi yeah nikasema sana when we yeah. shall tuna wa Kenya unapata analeta unga wengine analeta nguo wengine analeta sukari so tumekuwa tuna move na wa Kenya mm. na uh, labda tuzungumze na kijana hapa umesema unaitwa nani Mwesha. Nani? Peter Omondi Mwesha. Peter Omondi Mwesha. Yeah. Umejipa jina la Mwesha kabisa. Na. Mbona umejipa jina la Mwesha? Ni mamangu mpendwa. Mm. 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 Ulimpataje Mwesha mlikutana na vipi? <coughs> Mam. Tulikutana na mam. <coughs> Tulipatana na mamangu hivi. Mm. Hapo awali maisha ilikuwa haiko sawa ndio mwalimu naibu mwalimu akatuju akatukutanisha na mama mm. saa tukipata na mama ndio vitu zikabadilika hivi akatu akatubadilisha maisha hadi sasa hivi nyetu hapa mama amefanya mengi kwa maisha yangu mm. ame sacrifice mingi aka akatutoa pale kenye tulikuwa tunaishi hadi sasa hivi tunaishi naye atukua tunatarajia tutaenda form 1 Mm. lakini kwa uwezo wake akatu akatupeleka mm. sasa hivi tuko form 1 na tuna maidi tuta tutafanya bidii na pita ukisema maisha ilikuwa mbaya ilikuwa ilikuwa maisha ina gani uweleze mtazamaji yeah. apate kuelewa mm, maisha ilikuwa mbaya hali yani health yangu haikuwa hivyo mzuri ilikuwa mm. hii wiki naenda shule hii wiki siendi hii mambo ya food lakini mama akakuja akabadilisha yote mm. ikakuwa yani akatushikilia na mkono wake yani akatuchukulia kama mtoto wake yeye amenisaidia kwa njia mingi ya hospitali kwa chakula tukaishi na yeye yani amebadilisha everything kwa maisha yangu mm. yes na umeshaimwambia mama Moesha amebadilisha maisha yangu eh yeah. mm unamwambia gaji eh eh, eh na, yani hey, kwa njia mingi kwa dunia nzima isikie kwamba mama Moesha anakubadilishia maisha mam amebadilisha maisha yangu mm. yeah mm. yes ah tukatana niko na kina dada hapa labda tuanze na wewe jina lako kamili alafu niambie mlikutana vipi na mama Moesha okay naitwa Angela Mumbi mimi mm. ni mtoto wa mama Moesha na tulikutana tu, tu, mama Without. Uh -huh. Okay. So, to look at my mom, she was supporting my mom back 
when I was joining for one, she used to support my mom, my mom and I was like, so she used to help her and my mom be a charmer and stuff. Mm -hmm. So she was like a mentor to my mom. Mm -hmm. So I knew her through my mom. Then through my mom, I've seen Moshe work through my mom. She has helped my mom so much. Mm -hmm. And she, nah, I'm at Lipia school fees. So I'm in Malza Shule. It's because of Moshe. Alianza could support Nikia for months. And I can find her shopping and buy her mango. Like, I've never lacked anything. I've seen her cry because of me. I've seen her sacrifice a lot. Uh, me. I've seen her sacrifice more than enough for me. Mm. You know? When you're too mungo and too manga, too malaika, you never know. Like, I don't know even. Like, she has been there to support all of us. I've seen her support other people, old people, sick people. She has supported me and all of us. Yeah. Mm. At what at, at one point, Yes. When, when I was young, I was in when I was in class two, mm. it's when my dad left, so we became a single parent and we were born for mm. my big sister me and then my two small twin sisters so venye 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 baba sama mangu alikuwa anateseka then then sasa anauza kwa kibanda before alikuwa kwa salon salon ni mpi pesa vizuri mm. tukahamia nyumba ya mabati mm. wa life was just getting down and down every day naona tu hadi mimi nitaacha shule mimi mm. nitaacha tu hadi maisha nikaantaacha niende nianze biashara biashara huko angalau ni support sisters wangu wasome no, was pitchek and mean as a pitchia, but but mum a kanza kungezi stuff the chama, then up on the patana moesha, then from there, ni menda shule, ni mesoma, sister zongwa dogwa mesoma, stangum kuba mesoma, sign malza form four, mamangwa me prospa kwa kaziake, mm. and everything is just going wa atukosangi food atukosangi nguo atukosangi kitu mm. total na unaona mamoesha ki struggle na watafutia na watafutia yes, yes every day kai kai aki she struggles a lot a lot for us as her kids she sacrifices a lot and a sacrifice mingi sana mingi Sacrifice me, you never mean you can put us keep up, but I'm sure I can call a mom. Be mom's is keep up at a time to make sure that you're sure I get us keep up. I can buy yes, keep up. She should sacrifice her health, she'll sacrifice her things, her so many things at a time. I take fine in him. I'm a Tumia Marangafi, a manguka, a key, a key to end them is ego, a key to find you. And she makes. And I make sure to na pata vitu vizuri. Atakama atachwa bila food kwa nyumba bora si tumepata food ya kula. Like she has really, really sacrificed. Na ile siku mnakosa ya mamonsha na ambia leo sijefani kiyo. Hakuna siku atatumia. Hata heri atatumia pesa. Atatumia pesa tumjiba iye. Ile siku atakosa. Juu. Na hakuna siku wa shayi sema amekosa. She never lacks. Juu. She never lacks. Just God provides. Juu. Hey, ay, tunde kwako. Majina ya Kamili. At least nakuona huko a bit strong. Tunde ya kwako. Eh, majina ya Kamili. Niende mkutana wapi na Muesha? Tuombe majina yako. Mimi naitwa Sofia Madima. Mm. I met Mam Muesha when I was joining from one. Mm. So mimi nilikuwa niko na sister mkubwa so mimi ni join form 1 my sister was joining form 3 mm. so mi kwa akili nilikuwa na jambia my mom is a single mom mm -hmm. so yendo amekuwa ame kitu support hivyo we have a, a small bro mm. so tuko hivyo watatu mimi na wana sisa ko ako pia yako high school na mimi am joining high school mm. so na wana mama tuza kutu so umesha sisi wote wabili mm. tusikuwe tunafukuzua shule juu ya fees so min yo kitu ilikuwa inanipatia stress juu naona nikienda high school sasa mama ataanza kulipa yangu ya sis anaweza shindwa at some point mm -hmm. lakini god sent an angel to in my life mamoesha me to me she's an angel because she came uh, in my life the more the time nilikuwa mm -hmm. na itaji mm -hmm. someone to come mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. so the moment alikuja mimi niliona tu she's god sent alikuja vpn so me I got to know my Moesha. My mom got a call from my primary school teacher. I come back there's this, this young girl, her name is Moesha and Aneza Aneza Kusaidia. So 
mamuesha akapongwa na mbaya mamu ndo akapiganga mama akamwambia wewe mama Sofia na tuma Sofia akuja and tukwe tukuje hivyo nyumbani so tukaenda mimi nikaenda nikachukua mama Moesha tukaenda kwetu akaona pale tunakaa aka akasema sema akasema tansomesha mimi in your form 1 so kila mwaka ilikuwa ikianza fees yangu inalipwa ya mwaka mzima mm. So me yo stress ya kufukuzwa shule jumi tangerikio primary ndio nini nikifukuzwa niende nikuje na fees naona nasikia uchungu kwa road just like kwenda nyumbani sana nilikuwa piga hesabu nikaenda high school naenda boarding mm. so napiga mama naambia mama nimefukuzwa nitumie fee nikuje nyumbani so siko na yeye napenda kukuja nyumbani eti nimefukuzwa fees naacha wenzangu shule wanasoma mm. so bye mama Moesha alikuja mimi na najua niko shule juma mwesha kwa maisha yangu hmm. wengine wakifukuzwa karo mi bado inabaki shule nasoma so even ndo alikuja kwa maisha yangu mimi niliona kama it's just a miracle mm-hmm. it's something that happened suddenly i, di, I didn't expect it mm. but god sent her kwa maisha yeah, akamtuma kwa maisha yangu and everything turned around mm. Yani she changed everything uh, apart from hiyo ya masomo uh, pia unaishi naye na mama Mwesha mm. uh, naka naka na mam lakini tunaendanga kwake time to time tuna spend time we have sleepovers she organizes fun days for us to spend uh, time with her kids yani kila ana make sure nga mi, kama sasa hizi venye watu wako mid term amekusanya watoto wake tumeenda kwake tunakaa tuna, tuna yani tuna enjoy tu maisha hmm. eh yeah. unafanyaje <laughs> eh? <laughs> eh unafanyaje manake ukisikia venye wanazungumza wanakuambia kwamba hawajawahi luck na fees yati wamekosa hawajawahi kosa fees na najua uliniambia utaki kuulizwa masuala ya umri <laughs> wengi wanataka kujua Moesha na miaka mingapi si <laughs> Google. Eh? <laughs> Google. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, nimesema the way when nimesema mini ko reach in prayers and positivity and confidence. Mu mm-hmm. utoka, I reach out to people. Hata kila mtu time ya wakifunga tu shule, watu wanafa ku join form 1 or next term. Watu patana na midtown. I go and knock doors. At the end of the day na John ta knock 50 doors, but kuna mbili au tatu zitakubali. Mm. zitanchukua watoto wawili watatu so unapata hata vile wale kwenye social media mtu anambe Moesha nipatie account number watoto wawili wanne hivyo tu pole pole even i have to work as zingine na fakonda kufundisha dance classes ama nitafuta small businesses naanza kulipa hizo kununua uniform so munga ngana in anything that naona naweza jaribu and my kids mun sema i don't want them to realize that kuna any challenges though they understand wana understand hii tu si ukosa na tunapata Mm. but mu try to make sure they have food cuz in shenge za kwa akili i have somewhere under medication they have to eat because wana meza dawa watu wengi ambao ni wagonjwa yeah i have under medication mm. like on special kids kuna wale wako positive mm. so you have to make sure cuz hata kenyata and mbagadhi wananijua vibaya sana every beginning of every month napeleka watu wangu for check up unawapeleka for check up yes. hata wale walioko wazima eh kuna niko na siku ya wazee na watoto So ukinipata huko zanti kuna maandamano na watoto wangu wadogo wakubwa tunaenda wafanywe check up the special kid kuna siku ya positive kuna siku ya special kids kuna siku ya wazee so i have to go niende to make sure amepewa dawa in that na hiyo wakikufanyia wanakufanyia bure ama so kuna zile wanafanywa bure cause right now nafaa kujipanga kuna ule anafaa kufanywa operation huyu nafaa fanywa operation na ima anafaa fanywa hii mguu yake so unaacha anatembea na crutch mhm aya nafaa then niko na mwingine anafaa fanywa ya mask i have someone who has perforated ear drum my special kid next month so right now i don't know how but lazima nijipange si ati niko nayo kabisa Mm. but nisheka nia nasema Mungu sijui utakujaje kwa sababu nishajaribu kila njia ku reach out so nawezi lazimisha mtu so wacha Mungu venye itakuwa please come through mm. mm. mwesha kuna mtu labda shai kuambia unapoteza wakati ama una, hey. unaharibu jana wako Sa, hey, sana hiyo ndo challenge nilikuwa napata sana namwambia we mwenyewe mdogo na shida nyingi unajiwekea shida nyingi but they didn't understand is something that i love You know it's not about at the age muambie gamtu cuz mu pata messages mingi na comment ati eh nataka nikikuwa mkubwa nianze hivi iko agi hivyo na koga if kama you have it in you it doesn't matter age whatever mm. it's that's how mu pata sana wewe achana nao wewe ni haja hata ukipata dose nijitumie tumia nini mu sacrifice sana mm. yeah 
Na msodekta mtazamaji tunapumzika kidogo lakini kama unaswali lolote kwa Moesha na familia yake hii ndani ya studio. Wanasema familia ni kubwa huko takriban 2500 na ni mama mmoja, mama mdogo ambaye ndio mama wa watoto hao wote unaswali lolote mtazamaji. Na pia labda ungependa kumwambia kitu pia tutafungua nambari zetu za simu katika muda usio kuwa mrefu. Sende mbali. Ishoboye chako mix. Chako mix.